Hello and welcome to the Big Bang Review Show, episode number two. And today we are going to be talking all about this, the latest album by the Dead Daisies. As you can see, this is, of course, the best of, which is a celebration of the Dead Daisies, um, you know, decade together. So it, it's a celebration of 10 years together. Um, now, before we even get talking about the album, though, um, I, I thought we would talk a little bit about who are the Dead Daisies? Well, I'll tell you just my, my story of being a Dead Daisies fan is this. Okay, like a lot of people, I first became aware of the Dead Daisies um, when John Karabi, um, former Motley Crue uh, union singer, um, joined the band and he became the lead singer. So I've been a fan of the band since um, um, John's first album with the band, uh, Revolution, which is when the band um, played um, Cuba, which was a very big thing for them back in the day. But before we get into all that, that's just my story of how I became a fan. Let's talk about the da Dead Daisies and 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 um, who they are. Now, the band started off and uh, um, was formed in 2012 by um, David Lowry, who is um, he's a multimillionaire businessman. Um, he's from Australia. Um, and here's a, and here's an interesting thing. His father, I guess, was a um, one of these guys that made his money in Australia, um, um, making building a lot of malls and stuff. And so um, initially, that's how David Lowry made his money. Um, and and he always wanted to have a rock band. So um, he found this guy in Australia, John Stevens, who was the original singer before John Karabi was ever in the band. Now, of course, I, I realize like a lot of um, people who are in the Daisies, John Karabi was not the band's first singer. I knew very little bit about John Stevens other than he was the original singer of the Dead Daisies. Come to find out, like I said, he formed the band in 2012 with um, David Lowey. They were kind of the two founding members of the band. Now, what I didn't know about John Stevens is he had quite a bit of a um, past before he was ever in the Dead Daisies. Um, come to find out that um, he was the guy that replaced um, original NXS singer Michael Hutchins, who had um, sadly committed suicide a number of years ago. And so um, eventually NXS, which was a huge band, here in America, but they were originally from Australia, so they were huge in Australia. And that's where people first got to know John Stevens. So there's a little bit of a trivia for uh, fans of the Dead Daisies who might not have known that. Um, and then by 2013, they, uh, John Stevens was out of the band. So again, when talking about, uh, I think it's very important to know who are the Dead Daisies. As far as the other people have been out of the band, the Dead Daisies have been described as a, as a super group, like a, a a superstar lineup because I mean you just look at the current line, lineup John Karabi's back in the band um, after being away for a few years um, the uh, current drummer Brian Tishy um, he's been in out of the band and he's been played with everybody from you know Foreigner, Whitesnake um, <clears throat> Billy Idol so um, and, and Doug Aldridge who's played with again Whitesnake, Ronnie James Dio so again these are well seasoned um, musicians and um, that's that's kind of the current lineup. Now, again, we're talking about the best of, and, and what I really love about this album is it it just, just does not cover stuff from the current lineup. It co covers everything from the band's entire 10-year uh, career, you know? Um, and the thing is, they go all the way back, and they, they include even some John Stevens tracks, which I am hearing for the very first time. Um, I mean, some of those tracks, I mean, let's let's see. You got um, it opens up with miles in front of me, which is kind of about you know being a bike rider, get on your get on your motorcycle and riding. Um, when this came out, I had never heard this song before. I'm hearing it, you know, with fresh ears. I loved it, and I thought, wow, I'm so glad they included this, um, and, and did not just include stuff with just uh, uh, John Karabi and Glenn Hughes, which would have been you know that would have been great too, but. Um, what I really love, this really is a best of. And, you know, I had the opportunity um, a few months back to talk to drummer Brian Tishy, and I was telling him, one of the things I really loved about your guys' best of album, and this was before the album even came out, um, I was able to go online. They announced what tracks were going to be on on the best of album. I told him, you know, 
this is really a great selection of tunes. But I, I said, Brian, I really love the fact that you guys include stuff from all throughout the band's entire career. And, and his response was exactly what I was thinking. Well, it wouldn't have been much of a um, best of if we didn't do that, right? And, and, and I think he's so right. And so, again, um, um, we're going to be back to talk some more about the Dead Daisies um, best of. I mean, I, I mean, again, look at the album cover. I mean, I just love the artwork. Again, we're going to get into this down the line. But um, as far as, um, you know, if, if you've never heard of the Dead Daisies with John Stevens, um, I, I what one of my favorite tracks, I got to tell you, I really urge you checking out that's on this album is Miles in Front of Me. It's kind of a um, great kind of poppy hard rock sound, but um, it's something that could easily be played on the radio. Um, and I'm glad that uh, the John Stevens era of the band is finally getting some love. So please do yourself a favor and go and get the Dead Daisies Best Of album. You will not be disappointed. Now, again, I'm going to tell you, this is just um, part one of episode two. We will be back to talk more about the album, but believe me when I tell you, we're just getting started, folks. I'm talking about the Dead Daisies Best Of album. So so uh, in, until next time, um, go and give, give this album some love or go buy it because, again, if you're an all a Dead Daisies fan, if you um, follow the band at all throughout um, any of their career, you will not be disappointed. So go out and get it. And we will be back to talk more about this great album next time. Take care. Bye for now.